Hi, my name is Alistair Lee. In this video, I'm going to walk through downloading and installing Quiz Connect in your Adobe Connect meeting room or virtual classroom. Quiz Connect is a custom pod for Adobe Connect. It's a trivia game that asks all of the students in your room questions. The faster they answer those questions, the more points they get. Because it's a custom pod, the best place to get Quiz Connect is on Adobe.com. You can link right to it from the Adobe Connect web page. You can click on extensions or uh, as a shortcut to all of the extensions, you can always type in www.adobeconnect.com slash extensions. That will take you to the page where we've got all of the extensions. Because this is a custom pod, I'm going to go down to custom meeting pods and scroll down to the queues where I'll find Quiz Connect. By clicking on Quiz Connect, it brings up a page that I can use to download it. And this is a free pod. I'm just going to download it to my downloads folder on Windows. And once that's downloaded, I can simply drag it up to an empty share pod inside of Adobe Connect. Adobe Connect has now uploaded and converted that so that it can run in my Adobe Connect meeting room. Now, this is going to work fine, but there's a couple of different problems. First, I don't have anybody to play with in my meeting room, but more importantly, these questions are just the default questions. And most customers are going to want to customize the questions that are being asked and, of course, the answers that are being presented that uh, the students can select from. So to customize the questions, I'm going to go back to my Downloads folder and unzip the quizconnect.zip file that was downloaded from adobe.com. To do that in Windows, I'm just going to right click and choose Extract All, and I'll extract it right to that same folder. And you can see that there were two different files inside of that zip folder. There was an index.swift, and this is the actual Quiz Connect application. And there's a questions.xml file. And this is obviously where we keep all of the different questions. And this is the file that you're going to want to edit to add your own questions and delete the ones that are already there. Now I'm going to open this up in an editor. In this case, I'm going to right click and open it up with brackets. Brackets, by the way, is a free open source editor created by Adobe. You can use whatever text editor you'd like. I stay away from word processors though. Something like Microsoft Word uh, might ruin the XML formatting of the file and you'll end up with some errors as you try to upload it. I'd actually also stay away from Windows Notepad. That's not great at keeping that XML formatting. If you've got an XML editor you'd like to use, go ahead and use that. Uh, if not, you can download brackets. One of the nice things about an XML editor, or something that understands XML, is that it typically includes color coding. So I've got, for example, all of my questions in yellow, I've got all of the answers in black, and all of my XML tags are in blue. And that just makes it easier to see the format of this file. The file format itself is broken up into two different sections. There's a settings section up above with a single tag called timer, and there's a quiz section below that with all of the different questions and answers. This settings section contains a timer, and this is the amount of time students have to find and answer the question. Remember, the faster they answer the question, the more points they'll get, but in this case, students have up to 14 seconds to answer the question. I'm going to reduce that down to 10 seconds as I customize this version of Quiz Connect for myself. And now I can go and start modifying or even deleting the existing default questions that are here. Because this is a short video, I'll just quickly modify one of these questions. I'll change it from Starkey to Lennon. And of course, we've got four different answers here. Uh, you can have as many or as few answers as you'd like. You'll notice some of these questions just have two, whether it's true or false. Just be sure that you've also got a tag called correct, telling Adobe Connect what the correct answer is. And because we've changed the question, I'm now going to change the correct answer to John. And that matches one of my answers, so that should work just fine. As you're customizing this, you can go ahead and add additional questions. There's no limit to the number of questions that you can have. Uh, I'm going to save it once I've finished making all of my edits. I'm going to close it from brackets. And to finish, I need to zip all of these back up into a single file that I can upload to Adobe Connect. So I'm going to right click it in Windows and choose Send to a Compressed Folder. And that creates an index.zip for me. I'll go ahead and rename that to Quiz Connect 2 so I know it's my different one. I'll go back to my Adobe Connect room. I'll stop sharing what was originally there and drag and drop. Quiz Connect 2 onto that blank share pod. Adobe Connect is uploading that file, converting it, and it's now ready to display. If I go ahead and begin this new Quiz Connect, 
gives me a quick countdown timer, making sure that all the students are ready. And now I've got my modified question. I can go ahead and select my modified answer, correct for 70. So that's a quick look at how to customize Quiz Connect for your virtual classrooms and Adobe Connect meetings. Thanks for your time.